an interesting one that just popped up and it, I think it picks up on what we were just saying and anybody can answer. So the question is, are you seeing a shift in attitude um, where we were first working at home and some feel now that we're living at work? Even though work was increasingly bleeding into our home lives, now it is our home lives. There's a lot of, and this goes back to the mental health um, topic as well, there is that feeling, that strange sensation that we should have, and it goes back to our first poll, everyone wants time, we should have more time because we're not commuting and where's all that, where did that go? And yet we seem to have less time than ever and we seem to be working more than ever, um, which is a, you know, esoteric, bigger topic maybe than, than we have time to get into, but we'd love the perspectives from, um, let's go to you, Amanda, on, on that. So we were really quick to shut down and said from the beginning, we'd be really slow to go back. So we just set expectations. We always try to say it's not going to be for another three months. We've now announced we're not going back. We're not reopening the offices this year. So we've really prioritized people setting up good hygiene. Have a beginning, middle, and end to your day. Uh, unplug, create boundaries, and things like that. And what we're hearing now is that 70 or so percent of our employees don't want to go back to work five days a week. That the, uh, the lack of commute, the, the having dinner with your family seven nights a week instead of three, like people have changed their perspective and are getting pretty good at containing it. Um, the one thing I would say that we are failing at, and I observe it a lot, is that we are not getting people to take vacation. Because there's nowhere to go, people yeah. aren't realizing how important it is to take time off. So you say, I'm going to take Friday off, but then you're checking anyway, and it wasn't a restorative day. I think if we could do anything for people's mental health, it is get them to get away, even if they're still just in their, you know, studio apartment in Chicago, to do something besides work. Because if we keep waiting until we can vacation again, it's not going to be this year, and that is not good for mental health. Um, so I, it, for us, it's I'm not I'm not hearing that people are working around the clock. I'm hearing that they like the time back that they are over the stories they used to tell themselves that I have to have the customer meeting in person or we have to talk in faces. Like that I'm hearing more and more that like remote asynchronous work works for me and I like my extra time back. So maybe office life is way overrated. That's where we're on the other side of the spectrum of people going, this is pretty great. And, and by the way, as someone who like dressed for work for 25 years and now wear sweatpants every day, I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I think that speaks, but I think the numbers that you stated are very consistent with other polls and surveys about the percentage yes, of people who don't want to go back. And it speaks volume. I mean, again, you've been rated so highly for your culture. So a place where people love the culture, and I, I will humbly say Zeno is very similar, love the culture and they still don't want to go. <laughs> they still aren't racing back and we're not going back anytime soon either. So it's an interesting uh, uh, paradigm.